Here's the second one. And as I said, it's going to be a bit of a longer video, this one. Um, but that's because we need to work through some examples. And I thought I'll put them all on together and then you can start and stop them as you as you choose. So here's a neutralization problem. And in this neutralization problem, we need to know what volume of a 0.1 molar sulfuric acid solution reacts completely with 17.8 mils of a 0.15 moles per litre potassium hydroxide solution. So let's first of all write an equation H. 2SO4 aqueous for the sulfuric acid is going to react with potassium hydroxide KOH aqueous. It's an acid based reaction, so it's going to form a salt and water. So I can write water down straight away. And it's also going to form a salt. The salt is going to be a salt between the potassium and the sulfate. And I know that the um, Potassium has a 1 plus and the sulfate has a 2 minus, and I can actually get that from the number of hydrogens if I'm not sure. Uh, so that's the formula. I also use my NAG SAG to remember that group 1 um, metals form soluble salts, so the K2SO4 will be a soluble salt and therefore aqueous. My next step is to make sure that my equation is balanced. Um, and at this point, I've got 2Ks over here, so I need 2Ks over here. I've also got um, the hydrogens here are going to be contributing to water molecules. And since I have um, now two OH groups, I'm going to need two water molecules as well. So here's an important thing, a mole ratio of one to two to one uh, to two to one. OK, these numbers are the coefficients in front of each. And obviously, if there isn't one, then we just put a one. Now I have three very important variables I need to consider. Number of moles, which I'm going to put under the mole ratio because that's important. Volume, which I put next because number of moles divided by volume is equal to concentration. So what do I already know? For the sulfuric acid, I know that the concentration is 0.1 molar. And for the potassium hydroxide, I know that its concentration is 0.15 molar and also that it has a volume of 17.8 mils. And as I did before, I'm going to convert that straight away into 0178 litres. Now, my way of solving these is to go up, across and down. So I'm going to go up first. So I'm going to go this way. So what I need to do is put my name on my CV. So the number of moles of the potassium hydroxide is equal to 0.018. Uh, 78 multiplied by 0 0.15. I've done those back to front. The concentration is 0.15 and the volume is 0 0.0178, but um, the multiplication is the same. So let's just do that 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.0178. And what I have is uh, 2.67 times 10 to the minus 3. Uh, moles. Now, the next thing I do is I go across. So my value is going to go in here 2.67 times 10 to the minus 3. Now I'm going to go across. So the mole ratio was 2 to 1, which means that I need to halve that value in order to um, know the number of moles of sulfuric acid that have reacted. And so then I have a value now of 1.3. Three, five times 10 to the minus 3 and that's the number of moles of sulfuric acid which is reacted and now this time I need the volume so I know that uh, n equals CV so therefore V let's do another color V is going to be equal to uh, n on C I know the number of moles now is 1.335 times 10 to the minus 3 and I'm going to divide that by 0 0.1 and when I do that I get a value of 1.33 times 10 to the minus 2. If I multiply that by 1,000, I'll get it into mils, and I'll see that what I need is 13.3 mils of my um, sulfuric acid in order to fully neutralize the potassium hydroxide. 